Okay, so today what I'm gonna do is gonna show you how to make sausage rolls. Very, very simple, but very effective. Very tasty sausage rolls. A little bit of cheating. What we do is we start off with a bit of uh, ready roll puff pastry, uh, available in all good supermarkets. Uh, get mine from uh, Lidl's, I think it is, or Alvi. So, very simple. Take it out, get some scissors. Chop that up there. Um, the good thing is, it comes ready rolled, as it says, and it comes on this sort of like baking type paper. So you can just roll it out like that. Okay, simple as that. So get that all out there. Get a knife and then sort of roughly cut it in half, like so. Okay, so that's that done. Put that in the recycling. Now we go for the sausages. Now, what I advise you do is to do is to get your uh, favorite sausages. Uh, today we've got uh, pork and Bramley apple sausage. Uh, I tend to use uh, sweet chili or chili, Mexican chili sausages. Very, very nice. So don't worry about getting sausage meat. I find it's pretty cheap and horrible and not very nice. So just get some sausages. But what you need to do with these sausages is to actually uh, de-skin them. Take the skins off, so very simply. Just cut them like that. And then the skins, very thin, of course, should just sort of come out like so. And then for each bit, we just sort of line. So don't put it halfway, just put it a little bit about there. You'll see why in a moment, why we need to do that. Okay, so we'll do another one. And what we're doing, six sausages should actually do you for both sets of sort of pastry here. So we've got three on either side. So there's another one there. I'm just gonna squash that so you can make it uh, go right to the end, okay? Right, so there we are. I'm gonna give my hand a little bit of a clean there. So that's the first stage done. Get rid of that, put that over there. Now what we need to do with this puff paste is to just sort of roll it over like so. So push it down with your fingers to start off with. So right there, there we go. All right, now this is where the fork comes in. Bit of fork and just got a cup full of water there, cold water will do. And uh, just push it down like so, quite hard, so it sort of seals. So you don't want that coming apart when you put it in the oven. So I'm just sort of putting a bit of pressure on there. As you can see, that's sealing quite nicely really. So it's sort of knitting together, binding together the puff pastry. Okay, so that's that one done. And we just now do the next one. Roll that over like that. Get that lined up roughly, nothing perfect of course. Doesn't really matter. So do the same over this one over here. Wet in there. That should do it. Okay, so that's that. Right, so now what we're gonna do, throw that water away, we don't need that. So just getting an egg, uh, handy. I've got uh, a few chickens, so uh, plenty of eggs. An egg is good, give that a bit of a beat. And what this egg will do, we're gonna put that onto the um, sausage roll here, the length there, give it a good old sort of tasting of that, okay? Because what this will do will brown the sausage roll up. So the pastry will become a lovely golden brown color, uh, which is what you want. You don't want it to be tepid and white. You want it to be golden brown. This uh, egg was from one of my gingers, one of my ex-battery chickens. Very good layers, I have to say. They've been laying all throughout the winter, and like my well summers, very poor layers. So if they don't lay very soon, they'll be for the chop. There we are, so they better get a move on. Right, so, give that nice there. Look at that, you can see that going on there. That will sort of look great later on once they come out of the oven. Right, so that will do you. Okay, so, what we need to do now, we've got a, uh, just a baking tray. I've got some of this Bako stuff. It's like uh, plasticky stuff you can use it again. I swear by it. It can withstand very high temperatures, i.e. the oven, uh, and it's very non-stick, which is good. You can use this as well. You can cut it down the middle and then put it on this stuff. This is quite good as well. So 
So if you haven't got this, use that. Okay, I'm gonna use that. Now, don't make them too small. I'm gonna make them fairly large and then just slice them up like that and then just whack them on to your baking bit of plasticky thing there. And then, yeah, that'll do. Two big ones at the end there. Right, that's what you have to do really. Pretty simple. So now all we need to do is put it in the oven. I suggest putting it at about 190, 180, 190 for around about 12 to 15 minutes. Obviously check on them. I've got a Rayburn here. It's not a fan assisted one. Um, but if you've got some fan assisted ovens then I would actually do a little bit less because they're a little bit hot. Whack it in there, give it about 15, 12, 15 minutes. We'll come back later and see what they look like. Okay, so um, about 15 minutes has gone by and uh, let's go have a little take a look and see what they look like. They certainly smell good. Yeah, look, uh, nicely golden brown there. That was the uh, obviously the uh, the beaten egg there. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just put that around there. It's quite hot, and make sure we get them off here. And you can see this is uh, a great invention, this Baco uh, material, because they just slide off there and get onto that there. I'll do a few at a time. Save faffing around all these. And there you go. And that's it. That's all you need to do with sausage rolls. Very simple, very easy. Cheers. And here's till next time. <laughs>